the first time that I ever felt the elements and I felt the chi, if you will, I didn't know what to call it. It didn't have a name for it, but it was the ocean. It was surfing. It was getting my feet in the sand, you know, as a young man, 13, feeling very disconnected at 13 already. Stress, as what we call psychosomatic disorders today, grinding my teeth in the middle of the night, sweaty palms, nervousness, migraine headaches at 13. You know, that's craziness. And my mom remarried, brought me to Malibu, California. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with surfing and martial arts. That's where I met my sensei. And so I think that's the beginning of, of the journey for many people is returning to nature. Tech is a beautiful thing. It's simplified our lives in so many ways, but it's kind of like loading a gun and not knowing what to do with it, man. You can really harm yourself with technology. So I believe that our tech requires also a great responsibility. And one of those responsibilities is to balance your system, your body that's made of energy, so that you can handle your tech and your tech doesn't burn you out, freak you out, affect your moods, affect your health, and then how good is tech now? It doesn't serve you at all. When I was a kid, and I know you get this, I didn't have a computer, I didn't have a cell phone, I played outside. I went to the beach, I, I rode my skateboard, I ran home from the bus stop, you know, like I was outside moving my body and we look at people today and we are, our butts are stuck in these chairs and in these environments and our tech keeps us bound. And so I love how the movie really exposes the original way and wow, how far we've come from that. And so the message is so simple. Really, it's a simple return to natural ways. And even if you can't be outside, like you said earlier, what can you do to create those natural rhythms again in your body through the food, through restful sleep, through mindful awareness? And I would have to say, Pedro, that with all the people that I work with, and I work with a lot of folks around the world, and I have my own studio here. I've had it for 22 years, so I've worked with It's my laboratory. Uh, I see a lot of stressed out people, man. A lot of stressed out people come through those doors and they're looking to return. They don't know that per se. Maybe they think I want more discipline or confidence or need to learn how to protect my family. That's great. But as soon as we start to reset their nervous system and get them to flow and breathe and that stress starts to clear away and they get clear and present again, that's happening just through the exercises. So you don't have to go anywhere special to do this. I chose a new identity. You know, you've always got the two people inside you. You know, you got the lazy guy and the motivated, productive guy. But I think there's somebody beyond those two spectrums. There's the higher self. There's we can go to to Shen now. We talked about Jing and Qi and Shen. Shen is that awakening of your core spiritual essence. All right, your purpose. We get a little esoteric here. There's there's a calling. There's a something inside you that wants to be the highest version of yourself. I say that's getting a Y identity. Get your Y identity, man. Who do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to be that person? Stick that stake in the ground, like you said. Implement those mind-body rituals to protect you from the other stuff that's always going to be there. It's always going to be things trying to pull us. Mm -hmm. Always. That's part of the dance of life. But if you want to be, I sometimes call it a spiritual warrior, maybe that's too strong, but be a purposeful warrior, you got to fight a little bit for what you believe in and who you want to be. So you got to put that stake in. You got to get strong. That's what I love about the martial arts. It's not just soft and flowing and yin. It's like, I'm here, baby. Mm. I'm stepping up. I'm owning my purpose and get out of my way. When you have that, you become unstoppable, but it mm. requires the identity. Mm.